what we have f of x equals to to this uh, equations and they want us to find the Fourier series of this function now we know that Fourier series is given by f of x equals to a naught over 2 plus plus summation to positive infinity an equals n x plus b n sin n x so this is the the Fourier series so we are required to get a naught a n and b n so once we get the constant we come and plug that formula then we'll have got then the Fourier series for this uh, function so we move on to calculate the values of the constants so a naught equals two so we get the value of a naught in the given intervals but a naught is given by 1 over pi the integral of from negative pi to positive pi f f of x dx that's how we get the value of a naught now but we shall be getting the value of a naught in the given intervals therefore a naught will be equal to 1 over pi the integral now we integrate from negative pi to negative pi over 2 so we have we are integrating from negative pi to negative pi over 2 but what is f of x at this interval f of x is 0 so it will be 0 dx then plus now integrating this equation we integrate in that interval to the integral of from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 our f of x in this interval is 4 4 dx but remember here we have 1 all over 1 all over pi then plus we integrate in this interval it will be the integral from positive pi over 2 to positive pi f of x is 0 dx okay because of this 0 this will cancel out it will be 0 this one will be 0 then we remain with um, 1 over pi the integral from negative pi to pi over 2 to pi over 2 for dx now when you integrate when you integrate this integrand this will be equal to 1 over pi so we shall have into when you integrate 4 we have 4x then we have the boundary conditions pi over 2 then we have negative pi over 2 so we substitute in so this will be equal to 1 all over pi into so when there is x we substitute with pi over 2 so we have 4 dot pi over 2 minus we now substitute with negative pi over 2 so it will be minus 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 um it will be 4 it will be 4 
by could be that way. <coughs> so two year one, two year two, two year one, two year two. So equals to one all over five into um, then you have two pi plus plus two pi. Like that. So this equals to 4 pi over pi, which equals to which equals to 4. Therefore, uh, a naught equals to a naught equals to 4. Now, after getting the value of a naught, you can move on and also get the value of a n. <clears throat> so a n is given by one over by the integral of um, f of x goes n x dx that's the formula for getting a n but we shall also get the value of a n in the three given intervals so this equals to one all over pi the integral now the given the first interval from negative pi to negative pi over 2, then our f of x there is 0 dot cos nx dx, then plus, again we integrate the value of where n at this at the second interval, so it will be plus from negative pi over 2 up to positive pi over 2. Our f of x is 4 cos nx dx. Then plus at this interval, we remember here we have plus 1 all over pi and plus 1 all over pi. We are integrating from positive pi over 2 to pi. Our f of x is 0 dot cos nx dx. Now, because of we are multiplying 0 times cos n, so this, this will be 0, and then this one will also be, be 0. Therefore, we remain with 1 all over pi, the integral from negative pi all over 2 to positive pi all over 2 for cos nx dx. Now for here for is a constant we take it out so that we have four four all over pi the integral from negative pi all over two to positive pi all over two uh, cos nx dx. Now here we integrate cos nx. So when you integrate cos nx, you shall be able to get all of pi into, when you integrate cos nx, you get sine, sine nx all over n, then we have pi over 2 minus pi over 2. Now we take n outside with the bracket. This equals to 4 over pi n into sine nx like that. 
So we now substitute the initial conditions. So this will be equal to 4 over pi n into when there is x, we substitute with pi over 2, so we have sine sin n divided by 1, 2, then minus, now substitute with this, minus sine sin n dot minus pi over, over 2. Now, sin n dot pi over 2 minus sin pi over 2. So this and this are the same. These and these are the same. Sin n pi over 2 minus sin n pi minus sin pi over 2 is the same. So this equals to 4 over pi n into 2 sine, we add them, sine n pi over 2. So we multiply by 2, this one equals to 8, 8 over pi n sine n pi over, over 2. Now at this point we shall test for the odd and even uh, values for the value of n. So, so we, we say when when n is odd, when n is odd, of course we shall use one to test when n is odd, or when n is odd, we shall have k n equals to eight by n, then this is 1, so it will be sine pi over 2. So we use our calculator to get sine. So sine pi over 2 is the same as sine, sine 90. Sine 90, um, sine 90, sine 90 is, is 1. So n is 1, so if it's 1, then we have a n equals to 8 over pi n, n, n odd. For all odd values, the value of a n will be 8 over pi n. Then we test when n is even. When n is when n is even, then we test with the two, so that our a n will be equal to eight over pi n sine. Now when n is two, it will be two, so we have two pi over over two, two pi over two. Uh, so two and two cancel, so we are getting sine sine pi. So sine pi is the same as sine 180. So sine, use our calculator, sine 180 is 0. So 0 times this, therefore, an equals to, to 0. So what we are saying is that at odd numbers, an equals to 0 when n even. So meaning at even numbers, the series doesn't does not exist a n equals to zero so we only have the series with even with odd numbers so our a n equals to eight over pi n n when n is odd so we have a n not we have a n so we move on to get Yen. P 
Pn is given by 1 all over by the integral from negative pi to positive pi f of x sine nx dx. That's how to get the value of Pn. Now, we also get the value of Pn at the given intervals. Therefore, um, this equals to 1 all over pi. We start from the first interval, which I'll be decorating from negative pi to negative pi over 2. Our f of x there is 0 dot sine nx dx plus the second interval, which is this one, we shall be decorating from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Our f of x there is 4 sine sine nx dx plus the last interval we shall be decorating. And remember is 1 all over pi plus 1 all over pi into which I'll be decorating from positive pi all over 2 to pi. Our f of x, our f of x there is 0 sine nx dx. Because we are multiplying the 0 here, this will cancel out. And this one will also cancel out to be equal to zero. Therefore, we remain with Pn equals to 1 all over pi, integral of from negative pi all over 2 to positive pi all over 2 for sine n, sine nx dx. Now, this is the same as we take for outside it will be 4 all over pi the integral from negative pi all over 2 to positive pi all over 2 sine nx dx now when you integrate sine nx you get negative cos nx so this equals to 4 all over pi into negative cos nx all over n. Then we have the boundary uh, values pi over 2, negative pi over, over 2. So here we can take out negative 1 all over n so that we have negative 4 all over pi n into cos nx. pi over 2 minus pi over, over 2. This equals to minus 4 over pi n into, we now insert in the given conditions. So here we have it will be cos, cos n dot pi over 2. Then we have minus, we insert this, cos n dot minus pi over 2, like that. So, cos n pi, cos n dot pi over 2 minus cos n dot negative pi over 2. So, this will be 0. So, we have 4, negative 4 over pi over n into 0. So, negative 4 times that, so this is equals to, to 0. So, we are saying that Pn equals to, to 0. So, once we have the values of the constant, we can now go back and study the, the Fourier series. Therefore, the Fourier series equals to our A naught is A naught is four, four over two. So we have four over two plus our A n is eight over pi. So we have eight over pi 
into we are here. This is our our I N, but we take inside one all over N, one all over N. So we have, <coughs> and we are dealing with old numbers. So the first old number will be one. So we have one over one. We have one over one. Because n is one, because x, then plus. The next old number is three, so we shall have one over three. Because n is three, three x. The next old number is five, so we shall have plus one over five. Because five x. The next old number is seven, plus one over seven. 7x and it continues like that so this is the Fourier series of the given function thank you for watching and listening bye bye